everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Everything is going on. Thing. So introduce yourself to the world. What's going on? All right. Who are you? Who am I sitting here with? Yo, you sitting here <laughs> with uh, a father, first and foremost. Okay. Um, I'm, a, I'm a veteran, you know. Um, I'm a king, you know, and I embrace that. I think that that's something that I haven't embraced all my life, you know, uh, just because I felt like uh, I had to prove something, you know, being the youngest child and um, you know, when I became a father, my relationships, I felt like I had to prove something. Wow. So, um, so I'm at a good place right now. So I am Rob Malloy. Uh, that's that's me. Um, I've, I've embraced my uh, entire mission and being as a man. You know, and that's something that I believe a lot of us men have to do at some point, preferably sooner than later. Okay. So I just turned 45 this month, League of Nation. Okay. And, uh, you know, so I'm, ha I'm happy to say that I'm at a really, really good place of uh, all aspects. And you're part of the beard game. Man, you come find on. Out. Kill yes. them. <laughs> Kill them. Y'all don't know nothing about the beer game. They they don't know, but they should know. Them. You know, we we took it to a next, we took it to the next level. Beer game been around for a little bit, but now we got salt and pepper. Hey, you know, we, we, we gray beer. You know what I mean? That's grown man beer. The grown man beer. The grown man beer. So yeah. what is it that you do? I do a lot of things. Uh, one thing that I'm, I'm very very proud of is uh, my work with the community with veterans. That, that's been major for me. Uh, my dad is retired Navy. Um, I was in the Air Force uh, for about five years. And uh, a lot of my friends, uh, man, I have some family members that was in the military. You know, once they get out, it's, it's it felt like they forgot. Yes. If, if they didn't retire and get the pension and get all those benefits, they feel like they forgot. Yeah. You know, and, and that's something that um, happened to me too. Yeah. And it's something the world needs to work on. I got three uncles that were in the military. Yeah. And y'all go out and y'all do a lot to keep us straight, to That's keep us fact. safe, you know. That's we fact. rocking around thinking everything good every day, we new, 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 but we really don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Y'all protecting us every day, every minute. Yeah. And um, it is disrespectful. Yeah. It's weird. There's not a, a lot of opportunities after that. It's like what's there. Yeah. So so basically within your program, you're helping are you helping from the financial side, like get jobs, or are you helping from the self-esteem side? Right. It's it's actually a combination of them all. Okay. Uh, our organization is Keeping Veterans Fit. It's a nonprofit based out of uh, Atlanta. And uh, one of the first things that we had to identify is what the veterans need uh, versus what people assume they need. Hmm. Right? And, and uh, that comes from experience. It comes from talking with other veterans, meeting right. with them. Um, and and just just having that camaraderie. And they need more than mental health. Man, it's deeper man. than that. It, it is deeper. Me mental health is, is definitely important and it's vital. Um, it's it's just not that's not it. Right. You know, some of my best experiences has have, have been with on Veterans Day, whenever we get the free lunches and the free breakfasts and things like that. The lines would be wrapped around the the, the block on different uh, restaurants and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so it's it's a it's a chance to where guys that have never met before, or probably when they was in the military at the same time, would have never communicated the way that they can freely now. Right. So they talk about family, they talk about you know what they do, they network, they do things like that. And uh, and even myself, you know, because these would be retired guys or guys that you know got out 10, 15, 20 years ago, and I get to hear their stories and, and I get to hear where they're at now maybe what they could have changed and exactly. things like that. And it's, you know, it lets me know, number one, I'm uh, blessed to be here to, you know, recognize that. Right. And then in addition to that, uh, to know what what else needs to be done and what I can do to be proactive as I get older, as my, as my dad gets older, and my right. family. And now, so, something you said that was deep. A lot of people have a misconception that when veterans are wrapped around the building getting food, that they homeless. <laughs> it's irritating. It's like, yeah. oh man, you know, I feel so bad for the veterans. I'm like, why? <laughs> you know, they out here at the food pantry. I said, no, it's about them. It's celebrating yeah. them. They don't realize that's the yeah. way to come together. Yeah, we don't so, care. 
it's not. It, so please let everybody know it's not because everybody, every veteran is homeless. It, it, it's not. Uh, hom <laughs> homeless, homelessness uh, in general is obviously big and it's key. It's going on uh, in all cities, all right. states. Uh, but when it comes to veterans, you know, the, the thing about it is the first thing, the most thing that, that as a veteran, what we want is we want respect. Exactly. Respect will be the first thing. So, you know, a lot of guys, they don't want to hear thank you for the service because they're like, I'm here right now. Right. Don't just talk about what happened then. You know, we can acknowledge it, but at the same time, uh, I, I think it is important just, you know, have that respect. Uh, treat them like human beings. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's really that simple. Exactly. So, uh, so that's been that's been a, a very, very big uh, part of my life, and that actually helped me and helped me to develop with, uh, with where I'm at now with my brand. Mm -hmm. So uh, I am Rob Malloy. Uh, that is my brand. And uh, one of the things that I enjoy the most is talking about relationships. Okay. You know. Um, you married? I'm single. You single talking about relationships. I am, but you know what? Here's the good part about that. Uh, I have plenty of experience. So think about this. So okay. if if you go to a, a professional and you have an opportunity to talk to two different two different professionals, you have one here that may have a title, mm -hmm. um, it, it may have some some accolades and things like that, but they don't have any experience. Mm -hmm. And then you have this one over here that has been in the field. Uh, and has over 10, 15, 20 years of experience and willing. In relationship world, 10 to 15 years of experience. <laughs> That's right, right. And, and willing to divulge. Okay. Willing to uh, the, divulge the wins, right. the, the learning experience, and things like that because they're not trying to put up, hey, you know what? I've done things perfect all my life. Exactly. I have a, ze you know, I have a zero loss track record. That type of thing. So, which which direction do, would you would you want to go? Which one would you feel more comfortable that is going to give you what's real? Exactly. And and, and that's and that's where I've come in. Um, uh, first of all, relationships isn't just man and woman, uh, spouse partnerships. Relationships is also with your children if you have kids. It's also with your siblings if you have if you have siblings. Exactly. So my relationship, uh, I, I, I uh, self-proclaim relationship real. Because okay. I'm not a guru, you know, I'm not a guru because I'm not going to tell you what to do uh, or what you should do. What I will do is I'll share uh, my experience and, and what I'm going through now. Like, I'm not going to talk about just, you know, when it was all good. I'm going to talk about, uh, you know, my evolution as a man, uh, my evolution as a father, uh, in business, and everything that comes with it. So that's what has been um, my got me where I'm at. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That's, that's why I'm, I'm who I am. <laughs> Beard and all. <laughs> even the, gray, even the gray has a story. You know what I mean? I Everything got a story. Everything got a story. You the know? boot, the kneecap, that's the elbow, it. That's it. the hat, it all got a story. It does. So where can that's everybody right. find you up on the social media? All right. Well, uh, you can definitely find me on IG. IG is fun, right? IG is popping. It's big. So, Stop popping, says the gray haired beard man. <laughs> popping. Popping. <laughs> right. The new thing is, it's slapping. Oh. You no, know, I gotta check. With my, you know what? I, I'm gonna blame that on my youngest daughter. She ain't brought you up, up on game. Now, she probably saying it every single day. I heard slapping and yeah. some other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The popping right. thing, I think that's like two years ago. Well, you know, I, I, got, to be, I got to be who I am. You know what I mean? You gotta be who he is. I, I gotta Let's be say popping then. So we, we popping today. And we might be slapping a little bit later on. Right? Right this minute we popping, right? Alright, we popping, y'all. We popping. So, so yeah, let's IG, pop, pop to the IG. IG, I am Rob Malloy. You can find me there. Uh, you can also uh, go to the nonprofit organization, Keeping Veterans Fit. Um, that's that's here. And if you need help, you can also go to the website, keepingveteransfit.org. Okay. Uh, keepingveteransfit.org. Yeah, it's keepingveteransfit. Dope. Dot org, and you can also find me and everything that I'm about on robmalloy.com. Robmalloy.com. That's me. Hey.